Emily from the Wisconsin Cheese Mart, and today we are going to be talking about smoked cheeses. The history of these cheeses actually isn't entirely known, just because cheese has been around for you know thousands of years. Um, but the idea is actually that a smoked cheese was actually made on accident. Uh, either in the home it was sitting a little bit too close to the hearth and picked up some of that nice smoky flavor, or while it was aging in the middle of the winter, it was hung up in the rafters and accumulated smoke from that same hearth. Either way, it was a very happy accident. Today, the production of smoked cheeses has changed a little bit, uh, either through um, a cold smoking process, adding liquid smoke, smoked seasoning, or smoking over fire. Um, a lot of these cheeses have gone through one of those processes to attain this really nice smoked flavor. What you'll notice with a lot of these cheeses as well is on top of their already really great bodies and normal tastes, like a Swiss normally tastes, uh, the smoke adds a little bit to that overall flavor, um, getting us a little bit closer to the idea of umami. So um, we get a really nice flavor out of all of these cheeses because of that balance with the smoke and its original flavor. Our first cheese today will actually be the smoked string cheese. So this Henning smoked string uh, will have a hickory smoke to it, like a lot of the cheeses you see before you today. Uh, it's just a a little bit more widely available smoke, so it's used a lot in cooking applications. Um, it will be bouncy because it is a nice string cheese. Um, it will be terrible. Uh, it'll come apart into strips, and it will have a really nice balance of the salt and smoke because uh, string cheeses usually are quite salty because they're, you know, an iteration of Italian mozzarella that has come through in the production of string cheese. So the balance between that salt and smoke flavor is really present here and it makes a really nice cheese to snack on. But if you did want to eat it along with something, I would really recommend any kind of string cheese, but especially this smoked string, going onto a board with some nice summer sausage, a nice light pilsner or something like that, and you can really just enjoy it alongside maybe some crusty bread, things like that. The reason why string cheese strings when it's pulled apart is actually because in the cheese making process, uh, in the vats that they make the cheese, they line up all of the proteins. So when you go to tear it apart like this, those are all of those proteins and they are um, parallel to one another. So that's why it pulls apart with those parallel proteins. I'm sure you've eaten this cheese before, maybe not the smoked version, uh, but for this next cheese we'll cover is a smoked Swiss. So you can tell right on the side, uh, this will be the side of the loaf that the cheese was actually sitting on those grates while the smoke was being brought underneath it to smoke the cheese as a whole. And because it is a Swiss, we will have these little holes here, not so much right here, but we've got some holes on the sides and some holes throughout the cheese. Uh, that's just due to the bacteria in there creating the holes in the paste of the cheese. The Swiss cheese itself, as far as flavor, will have a, like a kind of buttery sweetness. Um, it has a nice, really creamy flavor because of that. And uh, this one is also smoked in that hickory smoke, like I mentioned. And the way I would actually eat this cheese is I would probably just slice it up into nice pieces, maybe that big, uh, and eat it alongside with some fresh berries. Um, maybe even like in a breakfast sandwich on an English muffin, on a croissant, I feel like this would be really delicious. Uh, but give it a nice little slice and go nuts. For this Gouda, uh, we'll have a lot of the same characteristics of that Swiss cheese. So this will be a semi-soft cheese as well. It's uh, a pretty young Gouda as well, so it will be pretty soft and supple. Uh, you can take a knife through that really easily. It's got a nice buttery texture. Um, and you can see the same grid pattern on the side there where it was laying on those racks while it was being smoked. Um, so it went through that same process and it was being smoked with hickory smoke as well, a lot like our smoked baby Swiss. As far as the flavor of this cheese, it will um, get towards that umami flavor that I mentioned before with uh, the cheese ma makers actually saying it tastes kind of bacony. Um, I think that's just because of the flavors melding together of a traditional uh, Gouda nuttiness kind of sweetness with that uh, bold hickory smoke. As far as how I would use this Gouda, I actually might 
um, kind of chunk it up into little cubes like this uh, and throw it on top of maybe a, a nice summer salad or uh, onto a cheese board. I think this would go really well with like fresh Granny Smith apples because of that tart, um, juicy, citrusy almost flavor of the Granny Smith apples. I feel like this really uh, bold cheese would go very well. This last very bright, very beautiful cheese will be the applewood uh, smoked cheddar. So this is a white cheddar, believe it or not, uh, with all the red on top. It's going to be a white cheddar paste. Um, so this outside color that you see here, the whole cheese is actually rubbed in paprika. So this is all just paprika spice on there. We've got a little clump right there. It'll stain your fingers if you're not careful. And like I've mentioned in another video we've done, uh, cheddar will actually change in texture as it gets older, as moisture leaves the cheese. This is actually a relatively young cheddar. It's quite pliable still, so you can take a knife to it no problem and it will hold together instead of crumbling um, like an older cheese would. So it, it stays together nice and tight. So it's still pretty supple and young as far as the cheddar is concerned. As far as the flavor of this cheese, Due to that paprika rub on the outside, obviously that will be a main component of the flavor, um, but the white cheddar base is a nice, very mellow cheddar. It almost kind of morphs into a Colby taste as far as how mellow that cheese is because the cheese really wants to let those other flavor characteristics shine, like the paprika and the applewood smoke. Obviously, this is a really beautiful cheese as far as you know its look, but I think you can also use this in a lot of applications as well. Uh, past just creating a cheese board with it. I think you could use this really in some backyard cooking. I think this would be fantastic on a nice summery burger. Um, because of that paprika smoke, it will play really well with the burger meaty flavors. Um, and the applewood smoke will add a little bit more depth to that burger, getting you to that nice high umami place. So if you have had any of these cheeses, please let me know down below how you like to eat them or even cook with them. Uh, in fact, if you've bought any of these cheeses from WisconsinCheeseMart.com, you can actually leave a review on that product page and let other shoppers know how you enjoyed it, how you cooked with it, and uh, let them know if that's the right cheese for them. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.